Welcome to another teacher tip with Mr. Long and in this video we're looking at neil.fun that's literally the website you just type in neil.fun in your browser and then you'll access all these wonderful little games and little illustrations that you can use to do something outside of the curriculum or even just add value to something that you might be doing in your curriculum so I'm going to show you a couple of these fun little games these little representations of data or information that you can use so let's have a look at some of them so here we've got the space elevator where you are in an elevator and you can see how high up you can go and what things exist at different different levels as you go up so at the moment we're at the hummingbird and fireworks level but we can scroll up and now we get into hot air balloon and certain birds and certain airplanes but we can keep going keep going and you'll notice that there's a temperature gauge and it's how cold it gets as we go up so now be a bit beyond the clouds and we can see different animals at the height that they can exist keep scrolling keep scrolling we are now at the heart of mount everest and you can keep going up here is where you would need a space suit. And there we're passing the stratosphere. You see you get a real nice representation of how things are. And there we go. You can use this as part of your discussion. You can use this if there's a particular item that you are referring to. Just compare it to others. But there we go. Like a really good resource. And you can keep going, keep going, and it keeps going, and it keeps going. Ambient Chaos is another one where you can create ambient sounds and see what it would look like if you keep adding more sounds. So if you want to add some rain, you can hear it. You can hear there's some rain. You can say how much rain you want to show. And then you want to add some noise from a coffee shop. And now you can hear people in the coffee shop and make it a bit louder or whatever. And you've got all these sounds that you can incorporate together. So maybe there's a train station nearby. You can hear a bit of a train at the back there. Maybe someone's mowing a lawn. background so as you can hear we can create these ambient sounds yeah we've got another size one we've got the size of space we're going to swipe to the right and yeah we've got an astronaut and I can keep going and you can see how different objects compare in size so there are the different rockets so we can keep going to the first rocket there we go now we get into asteroids to different rocks over there different asteroids that we can see in comparison different dwarf planets that are out there now we are at Pluto and now we go through, there's the moon. And it's really nice to compare size. There we go. So we're finally at Earth. There's Earth. And after Earth, there's an Earth-like exoplanet. Now we're at the sun. And then you can keep going. It's a really amazing resource. You can go bigger and bigger and bigger. And just determine the size of everything. So it's a really useful website, neil.fun. Try it out. Maybe there's some resource in there that you can use for a lesson. And it's really fun for kids to play around with and learn. For more teacher tips, make sure that you go to our YouTube channel at Mr. Long Teacher Tips. And remember to leave a like, leave a comment. We'd love to hear from you and share us with your other teacher friends so we can help them as well. And remember, don't do it the long way. Do it the Mr. Long way.